front of a Steinway Model A3 that was manufactured in the year 1935. Steinway made three different Model A's in their past. Why they were all called the same letter A, I have no idea. But the early form of the A was a six foot one piano. Then they introduced a six foot two piano, which is the A that they currently make today. And for a period of time, they made a Model A3, which was the largest of the three A's. This is a six foot four piano and is the, the next size down from the Model B, which is made today. So the tone of this piano at six foot four is approaching that of a Model B, which is six foot ten and a half. Uh, this piano, uh, we, uh, for a piano of this size, we expect big sound, and this certainly has it. But it's also capable of being very delicate and very sweet. cast iron plate, which is the gold colored mass that you're looking at. Whilst the plate was removed, the soundboard underneath here was completely refinished with a period decal reapplied, brand new decal applied. The, uh, the piano, the, the plate was then reinstalled of course, and the piano has been completely restrung. All of the strings are brand new. These damper felts that I'm touching here uh, are new. The damper heads themselves have been completely refinished. The piano also had a brand new pin plank installed while the cast iron plate was removed and uh, the piano has been completely repinned. We're very fortunate in this particular piano to uh, have been able to retain the original ivory key tops. Very often they become damaged over the years with many chippings along the front edges and yellowing to an extent that it renders them ugly. So this is very fortunate, we have the original uh, ivory keyboard here. When it comes to the action restoration, we choose to use uh, Steinway, genuine Steinway replacement parts at all times. And as you'll see down here, uh, the new Steinway appears as they always do on the lowermost uh, base hammers. Uh, so we have uh, brand new Steinway hammers of course, shanks, and flanges. These are the original Steinway uh, levers that have been completely overhauled. All of the little red felt bushings have been replaced. These uh, pads are brand new. The springs are brand new. So the restoration to this action mechanism, as it's known, has been very, very complete, and this piano can will easily handle many decades of strong play. The cabinet or the case of the piano has been completely stripped and refinished in a traditional satin hand rubbed lacquer finish. Uh, multiple coats of lacquer have been put on with rubbings in between each coat and this is exactly the same finish as you would see on a, a new Steinway today. We have some nice detail in the leg here. These are known as windowed legs. Not too long after the manufacture of this piano, Steinway removed all of these window pane moldings and the leg became perfectly smooth. So this is a, a nice little bit of detail in the leg that we don't see today. One last thing to discuss, all of the hardware, the case hardware on this piano has been completely replated in brass. Some restorers will merely buff the existing hardware on a piano. We choose to go one step extra and completely replate all of the hardware, including the pedals that you're looking at, as well as the hinges on the piano and all other, uh, uh, the casters for example, or the wheels, all replated in uh, brass. The entire piano for that matter, looking inside, outside, everywhere, looks new, it even smells new.